Good morning to everybody another beautiful gorgeous day. We're holding a few days before the special special day Yom Adim De Rosh Hashanah. Everybody's asking a question. What should we be asking from Hashem on Rosh Hashanah? It's always nice and beautiful to add your personal tefillah in every prayer. Ask something from the bottom of your heart. Whether it's a mincha, whether it's a shacharit, whether it's a ravit, whether it's a musaf. Always good to add your personal prayers. Whether it's in Russian, English, Persian, any language. As long as it comes from the bottom of the heart. People asking me a question, what should be they asking for Rosh Hashanah? What is the most important? A lot of things are important. Everything. But on Rosh Hashanah, <laughs> instead of complaining to Hashem how bad the year was. I was speaking to somebody and they were telling me how bad the year was. How the things did not work out. How the business didn't go well. Family issues financial problems, other issues, instead of telling Hashem how bad the year was, let's find something, what, how well, something worked out well. There's definitely something positive that happened. There's no such a, such a thing that everything was bad. Yes, we had COVID, there was virus, there was a lot of problems in the world, pandemic, but there's something, must be something great still happened to us, to our family members. So, we, we, should be finding something great that's happening to us. That's what we should specify to Hashem. So when you make a list, what will you be asking from Hashem on Rosh Hashanah? Praise Hashem. Thank Hashem for the great things that happened to us. Because when we praise Hashem, we're opening the channels of more brachot, of more blessings. There are two channels. The blessing of the great things that are happening to us and to our lives. And then there's a channel of something negative coming to our lives. When we, if we're going to be standing in front of Hashem on Rosh Hashanah, complaining to Hashem, we're opening a negative channel. But if we're standing in front of Hashem on Rosh Hashanah and praising Hashem, thank Him for all the great things that happened to us, and there's thousands of things that happened. And even, just think of one thing that happened great to you. Say to Hashem, you'll see how the channels will open up. You'll see the more and more and more other things that you want to praise Hashem for. Mitzvah goreret mitzvah, avera goreret avera. One positive good thing leads to another positive thing. One negative leads to another negative. So you want to start year, a new year, not with complaining, not what was wrong this year, not what you're missing, but what you gained, what you had this year. The same thing, that's, that's exactly how we start the new year, with positivity. Besides, once a year, we have a once a month, every month is Rosh Chodesh. How do we start Rosh Chodesh? We don't start with Rosh Chodesh, new month, with complaining how bad the month was, was too much rain, too much snow, was too cloudy, uh, we didn't have much money, we didn't make parnas. It's not what you start the Rosh Chodesh, new month with. Every month, what do we start a new month with? Hallel, Hallel. What is Hallel is all about? It's all about praising Hashem, thanking Hashem. You want to start positivity. And we even sing out, we sing the Hallel. You want to start new month with the positivity. You want to open the channel of the Bracha. Not with the complaining. In the new year, you want to start with the positivity. Find something great that happened. Spread, say it out. Express it. The same thing every week. A week starts from Motei Shabbat. Motei Shabbat, we say Shavua Tov. We say something positive. Shavua Tov. You should have a great week. Ashkenazi say a good Tovah. You should have a blessed week. Also a good week. You want to start with something good. Not complaining. It's so easy to complain. You don't need to be genius. You don't have to be smart. Easiest thing in life to complain. What's so hard? To find something to praise. Find something positive. The same thing with our kids. When the kids do something, one mistake, we start yelling, scream. One mistake, you see, that's what you see. But what about 10 good things that the child did today? We didn't praise the child. We don't realize that. 10 great things the child did, we don't see that. One mistake child does, people scream, yell. Learn to praise. A child does something good, praise him. Positivity. Open the channels of positivity. Same thing with a spouse, husband, wife. One mistake, oh, the food is too salty. But what about if the other stuff is good, the salad is good, other things? Learn to praise also. Find the positivities, not, not to look for something negative. I wish everybody Shana Tova, Ktiva Vechatima Tova. We should all be written and stamped in the book of life. and should be a year of blessings. We should be all happy and healthy. We should not need help of doctors. That's how healthy we should all be. Amen.